as we meet here today, young babies, children are held in Gaza. This is beyond imagination, a living nightmare of three, 10 years old, Avigail, three years old, Maya, 17 years old, Raz, four years old, Aviv, two years old, Ariel, four years old, Kfir, little Kfir, only nine months, Yuval, eight years old, Ophir, 17 years old. There are just a few, a few of the many children and babies that have not seen evil. They have not caused evil, but they are victims of evil. These kids witness horror which cannot be described by word. 75 years ago, was a clear statement, never again, never again. Saturday, October 7, will go down in history as nothing less than a brutal massacre. Saturday, October 7, is a wake-up call for the entire free world, a wake-up call against extremism and terror. On that day, over 1,500 terrorists of Hamas and Islamic Jihad infiltrated Israel from the south with a viciousness exceeded even ISIS, killing over 1,400 babies, children, women, and men, and wounded over 4,000. They went from house to house slaughtering entire families and individuals in the beds, on the streets, on the way to the synagogue, raping women, burn them alive, dancing and chanting on people's bodies. You have not been there. You have not seen the horror or smell it. We, Israel, we don't only have the right to defend ourselves. We have the duty to do so. This is not a right. This is a duty. I want to speak to all of you and to tell you, the West is next. The West is next. The war which was imposed on us, there is no side. This war was imposed on us is not only Israel's war. It is the war of the free world. I hear the call for proportionality. I hear the calls, as said Lynn before, for a ceasefire. Tell me, what is a proportionate response for killing of babies? For rape women and burn them? for beheading of a child. How you can agree to a ceasefire with someone who swore to kill and destroy your own existence? How? The proportional response to October 7 massacre is a total destruction, a total destruction to the last one of the Hamas. It is not only Israel's right to destroy Hamas, it's our duty.